Hey again there YouTube, Tyler Parsons here with ParsonsGolfPerformance.com. Today we're going to be talking about making sure that you're loading into that trail leg, especially on the driver, so that you can really push off, explode, and get more distance and power. So the biggest thing is now with all the different weight sensors out and everything with the plates to measure, what we've noticed, and we've been able to put a number to it to quantify, and we're all about quantifying, the biggest hitters are going to load into that trail leg, making sure they keep that weight on the instep. But as they get to the top, players like Day and Holmes are at 90 to 95% on this back leg, okay? Now, this is the pressure they're putting into it, so we have to make sure that you're loading and that we're not just over here and it feels like we're in that position, but we're getting there. So, one of the things we can do is just grab a weight got 10 pound dumbbell here I'm going to turn and take this all the way to the top as you can do that you can see that I'm really having to get over onto my right side hands nice and high so that's gonna be a nice little drill for you to do to turn and feel what it's like to load into that side feel it over onto this hip so that we can again load so we can explode okay once we have that and you're loaded up into the swing, we then have to be able to drive, push off, create that ground force and everything we're looking for. So, I'm going to switch over and grab a medicine ball, and we'll go on and turn and do the same thing, get loaded in that position, but now I'm going to go from a static position, just starting out holding, and then we're going to turn and throw the ball, okay? So we would go from here, nice and stacked, feel that weight over there where it needs to be, turn, release, driving over, going on, allowing the hips to clear, feeling everything come up, try to get a little thoracic extension in through there. Really work on getting that whip, okay? The more that we can go from here and whip, as long as we load it properly, we're definitely going to see a faster club head speed, okay? So check back often. We've got some more to come on this, but I really wanted to break that down, keep it nice and simple allow you to go through and do a couple simple drills, then implement it into the golf swing. 